It was members of the public who called 999 at about 7 o'clock when they saw the boat called the Silver Sea on fire. North Yorkshire Fire and Rescue Service sent two officers and breathing apparatus onto the boat to see if anybody was on board, but it was empty. By the time these shots were taken, it was well on fire. The owners told firefighters that they'd recently filled the boat's fuel tanks with diesel and the fire brigade were concerned about a possible explosion. At that point, police decided to clear Oosbridge completely. It was closed to traffic and pedestrians. Eventually, there were 35 firefighters and seven engines on the scene. They tried to place a boom on the river to prevent the flow of diesel, but they were unable to. Large crowds gathered on both sides of the river to watch the incident unfold. Um, we were walking across the bridge and we just saw lots of smoke coming out of the boat and going over the bridge. And then a bit later on, we saw a lot of flames and big fire and then um, a few hours later we saw the boat sinking unfortunately. Well I was coming back a few minutes later than uh, these guys were and then by the time I was walking back the flames had already started and then went back uh, I was actually I just brought fish and chips back so I came back out after my fish and chips and uh, the, the, like, the whole boat was on fire like completely up in flames and then we just came back out about 10 minutes ago and it started to start to sink. So. Can you describe how dramatic it looked to you? Is, I mean, the whole, the whole boat is in full on flames, so yeah, it's a dramatic sight. Like. As firefighters managed to bring the blaze under control, it flared up again. There was an explosion, only a small one, and then the fire was shooting out all over. The boat had almost sunk into the river by then, and firefighters were able to finally put the blaze out. By this time, the smell of smoke and burning plastic was all over the city.